Before you invest your time into someone else, you have to make sure that you are invested into yourself, 100%. You are now home inside of Chef Central. I'm Chef Willie, and I'm just here to help you become the best version of yourself. So if you can, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Love it if you really rock with me. And on today's video, man, we're just gonna talk about why you can't give your all into someone else without being there for yourself. I feel like I said it twice, but who cares? <laughs> so for me, man, I kind of went through a transformation, uh, let's say a year ago from today. I used to be, actually it is a year ago from today. Wow, crazy, universe. But I used to be, the kind of person to where I will put all of my time and energy into other people in hopes to inspire them and just see different things and, you know, maybe change their perspective. So while doing that, I kind of lost myself. But it was for good intention. But the thing I didn't realize is is that I can't lead by example if I'm not being the example. Mm. Mm. You know, for like a long time, um, and I think I said this in one of my other videos, um, I was a life of the party, and I'm still a life of the party, you know what I'm saying? But I only did it to please others and just to make people happy. But when I look back, I wasn't making myself happy. I wasn't recording vlogs. I wasn't making music. I wasn't producing content. Like, I wasn't doing anything for myself. Anything that I did, it was in order to make other people happy. And when the time came for me, um, when the shoe was on the other foot and I didn't get that same kind of treatment, it really damaged me as a person. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna keep it real. It really damaged me. And it damaged me to a point where I built a wall, you know? I felt like, man, I'm doing so much for this person, this, this, and that. I'm trying to get them to chase their dreams, da, 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 and they just go off and do this, you know? And that hurts, man. It really hurts. But the thing that I learned from that is, not only do you have to be the example, but you have to be able to see things from someone else's perspective. Because, like I said, from that person's perspective, I may have been trying to inspire them to do things that they don't even necessarily have a passion for. When I'm the one that has the passion and I'm not even doing the work, you know? And in another situation, you know, I got a couple of friends that I know, you know, even to this day, and you just gotta realize and this is a real problem. This is a problem that I hate, you know, as a man. And I'm just, I'm just gonna go off and just say it. Like growing up as a man, like you really, you're, you're taught that showing any kind of signs of emotion is a weakness, or you know, just showing feelings or love is like weak. Like, nah, man. We as men. We have to be able to find ways to channel our feelings and release our feelings without it being deemed as, you know, something that's feminine. Because I feel like everyone, every human being on this planet, we all have feelings and emotions that we go through. And for a lot of people that I know, and let me know in the comments if you guys have been through the same thing, 
it's weird and it's, it's weird and it's rare to hear from like let's say a guy say hey man I care about you I love you man I don't want to see nothing happen to you that's rare but we need more of that we need more male supporting males. We really do. Like, women, I gotta give it up to the, to the ladies, man. Women will, you know, start drama and create crazy stories and create the craziest fights and the rumors and stuff like that. But women on the other side of the fence will confide in each other and cry. <laughs> and be on the phone, you know, together. And, you know, just... Communicating as just a species, man. It, and it's just it's just sad to me that it's deemed that way. That a man can express his feelings to another guy without feeling soft or whatever. You know? And it shouldn't be that, man. It really shouldn't be that. And that was a thing for me I had to realize as well. Like, it's okay to, you know, feel sad or, you know, feel down and you know, express it to another, you know, guy or girl, you know, stuff like that. We, we've been fed all this, you know, BS that, you know, you have to hold your feelings in and be strong and da 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 But at the same time, life isn't always happy and it isn't always glorious. So sometimes you're going to go through stuff that knocks you down and you need a way to channel those feelings. You need a way to express them and let them go. And there's nothing wrong if you cry or, you know, vent to, you know, your boy about it, man. So we gotta kill that right where it's at the bud, man. Cause that's always been stupid to me. But that's something that I had to learn to grow. That's something that I had to learn because uh, for a lot of people watching, um, I didn't really have a steady male figure in my life. So for me, I kind of had to learn things along the way, and that was something I was never taught. I always thought, you know, if I tell my friends about my problems, then I'm not a strong person. Or, you know, if I tell my my bro that's going to Vietnam for a year, if I tell him that I love him, it's gay. Like, no, man. Like, if you really care about somebody, it doesn't matter what race, they, it doesn't matter what gender they are, race they are, none of that, man. Tell them how you really feel and who cares about what people think, seriously. Like, who cares? But, you have to be there for yourself 100% to realize that. To truly realize what love is. We need love in this universe, man. And we don't have enough of it. That's gonna be it for today's video, man. You just really gotta come to a point in your life where you're fully ready to accept things. You're fully ready to be the example before you take on that role. Because you doing it the other way around, man, it's gonna do nothing but set you back. But hopefully you also learn at the same time, just like I did. So that's gonna be it for today's video. You're not excellent Chef Central. I appreciate every single view. Do me a huge favor, visit my website, whoischefbully.com. Join me on this journey to greatness. And I'm just appreciative of all the love that I've been getting so far. So let's keep them likes up. Like the video if you haven't already. And let me know what you think in the comments. Is it Wherever you're watching this from, is it a bad stigma on males or guys sharing their feelings to other guys? Or, you know, is it not the bro code? Like, we got to revamp the bro code in 2020. But, like I said, this is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. All of my endeavors will be one.